Along with the standard conversational screens inside of Kipware-T, we have a couple of options available for a live tooling. Uh, one being for the C-axis, which is an indexing spindle, and then one for Y-axis, which is a full spindle with the Y-axis. If we take a look at some of the C-axis options, we can see that we can do milling and drilling uh, either along the OD of the part or on the face of the part. So if we look here, we have a bolt circle pattern on the OD of the part. Again, using the conversational screens, the software will calculate the positions of the holes for the bolt circle with the user having the drop-down list available for the drilling cycles, in this case, of Fanuc drilling cycles. We can also do a bolt circle on the face, random holes on the OD where the user inputs the location, and random holes along the face, again, where the user is inputting the location. We can do slotting, so we can have a slot on the OD of the part, or a pocket on the OD of the part. And we can do slotting on the Z-axis, linear slotting, radial slotting, as well as pocketing on the face. Also in the Z-axis, we have the random holes as well as the linear holes. So if you have holes on a line, multiple angles, uh, multiple uh, lines on an angle, we can do that again through the conversational screen with the live tool option. In the settings page, user can customize the live tool settings. So M codes for spindle on and off, for C-axis clamp, break on and off. These can all be customized by the user saved into the software and these are automatically used as the G-code program gets created.